Imagine falling into a black hole. You expect a smooth passage through the event horizon, as Einstein predicted. But what if, instead, you hit a wall of fire that instantly incinerates you? Well, this isn't science fiction. It's a chilling possibility that's keeping physicists up at night. In this video, we'll explain what a black hole firewall even is and exactly why it's so controversial. It pits quantum mechanics squarely against general relativity. We'll reveal the terrifying fate of anything that dares cross these fiery barriers. We'll cover the firewall's best rival theories and explore the fascinating information paradox at the heart of it all. Unraveling the mystery of black holes could unlock the greatest secrets of the universe. I'm Carlos Farias, and my mission is to answer the biggest question. Why are we here? I study metaphysics and along with you, learn from the brightest scientists on the planet. Before we explain firewalls, first we must grapple with a searing contradiction while crossing the event horizon of a black hole, where gravity is so strong not even light can escape. This is a battle between quantum mechanics and general relativity. The feud is over fundamental principles held by each. Under quantum mechanics, we have unitarity, which demands that information must always be preserved. If you know a system's exact state at one moment, you should be able to calculate its state at any other time. Information is never, ever lost. Under general relativity, we have the equivalence principle, which claims that the laws of physics are the same for all observers, regardless of their motion. In the context of black holes, it implies that an observer falling through the event horizon should not experience anything unusual at that boundary. The passage should be smooth and unremarkable. As physicists say, there's quote unquote, no drama. QM's on the left because we generally associate it with matters at the smallest scales, while GR covers the largest stuff in the cosmos. Finally, we have locality, a principle that underpins both quantum mechanics and general relativity. Locality states that events and interactions in one region of space cannot instantaneously affect distant regions. Information and effects can only travel at or below the speed of light. We really need to hold on to locality as both of them rely on it. So why are GR and QM in conflict? Hawking radiation. In 1974, Stephen Hawking discovered that black holes slowly evaporate over time by emitting particles. This process occurs when virtual particle pairs pop into existence near the event horizon. One particle escapes, becoming radiation, while its partner falls into the black hole. You see, the escaping particle effectively borrows energy from the black hole. The particle that falls into the black hole carries negative energy relative to the outside universe, which results in a decrease in the black hole's mass. According to Hawking's calculations, this emitted radiation appears to carry no information about the matter that fell into the black hole, which violates unitarity. Quantum mechanics insists that this information must be preserved. But if we attempt to preserve unitarity by assuming the Hawking radiation carries information, we run into problems with the equivalence principle and locality. Quantum mechanics requires that the Hawking radiation be entangled with the particles that form the virtual pairs in order for unitarity to hold. The escaping particle becomes radiation, while its partner that falls into the black hole does not carry any information about the outside world. For the radiation to carry information, it would need to be entangled with the interior of the black hole. This would maintain the smooth, no drama passage through the event horizon predicted by GR. Here lies the problem. This double entanglement is strictly forbidden by the principles of quantum mechanics. Entanglement can only be monogamous. So this creates a seemingly irresolvable conflict. Something has to give. Let's review real quick. Quantum mechanics unitarity demands that information about anything falling into a black hole must be preserved. GR's equivalence principle suggests a totally smooth fall into a black hole. And locality maintains that since nothing travels faster than light, the inside and the outside of a black hole 
can't affect each other instantly. One of these three cherished principles, unitarity, equivalence, or locality, needs to be sacrificed. Physicists have been haunted by this black hole information paradox for decades, until four brilliant physicists devised a possible solution in a firewall. Imagine, once again, approaching a black hole, expecting a smooth passage into the void. Instead, you face a wall of searing energy that shatters our current understanding of physics. The firewall hypothesis emerged from a groundbreaking 2012 argument presented by physicists Almeri, Merolf, Polchinski, and Sully, collectively known as AMPS. Their idea centers on that principle of monogamous quantum entanglement. They resolve the necessary but forbidden entanglement polyamory by never allowing it to occur in the first place. The firewall hypothesis takes aim at the no-drama scenario predicted by GR. It proposes that something dramatic occurs at the black hole's boundary, violating the equivalence principle. At the event horizon, there exists a firewall of high-energy particles that severs the entanglement between the interior and exterior of the black hole. This firewall would incinerate anything crossing the event horizon, resolving the entanglement paradox, but at a tremendous cost. The consequences for infalling observers are horrifying. Instead of a gentle descent into the unknown, they face a barrier that burns them to a crisp. This suggests that the singularity, once believed to lie deep within a black hole, might actually sit at the event horizon. Physicists find this idea deeply troubling, as it forces a choice between core principles in QM versus GR. Many physicists refuse to give up a cornerstone of general relativity that free fall is indistinguishable from inertial motion. But firewalls offer a solution to the black hole information paradox. They save QM's unitarity in two ways. One, they sever entanglement between the black hole interior and Hawking radiation. And two, they prevent any observation of the black hole interior. You're probably wondering if we see any evidence of firewalls. Unfortunately, they're not visible to distant observers because this all occurs at the smallest span of our universe, the Planck length. The intense gravitational redshift would render the escaping radiation as negligible Hawking radiation. If firewalls exist, it means the black hole interior likely doesn't exist. Breaking the entanglement across the event horizon disrupts the tapestry of space. In a traditional black hole, the fabric of space ends at the singularity. With firewalls, the singularity extends to the event horizon, creating a void with nothing, not even a vacuum, behind it. The AMPS team argues that violating the equivalence principle is less extreme than killing unitarity, which is why they support the firewall idea. However, many physicists are deeply uncomfortable with this result and want to preserve both principles. Next, we'll quickly cover the firewall theory's three strongest competitors. The last one is my favorite. First, we have Samir Mathur's fuzzball proposal, which replaces the traditional black hole model with a stringy quantum state. Here, the event horizon becomes a fuzzy structure that couples outgoing Hawking radiation with the black hole's formation history, potentially maintaining information without violating the equivalence principle. However, it necessitates abandoning the classical view of black holes. Second, the Papadadimus Raju proposal posits that the interior of a black hole shares the same degrees of freedom as Hawking radiation. By identifying these two systems as fundamentally the same, it resolves the monogamy problem, but it challenges the independence of interior and exterior observers. Finally, we have the ER equals EPR conjecture by Juan Maldacena and Leonard Susskind. This idea suggests that entangled particles are linked by wormholes, or Einstein-Rosen bridges, hence the name. Outgoing Hawking radiation and infalling particles are viewed as two sides of the same system, connected through hidden wormholes. It's an elegant solution, but requires a radical rethinking of quantum entanglement and space-time geometry. All three preserve the equivalence principle and unitarity, but take aim at locality in their own ways. 
The fuzzball proposal denies locality by suggesting that the event horizon is not a clear boundary, complicating the independence of systems. Papadadimus Raju denies locality by challenging the independence of interior and exterior observers. And the ER equals EPR conjecture denies locality by implying non-local connections through wormholes. If you'd like to learn more about these and perhaps see a black hole theory face-off video, leave a comment below. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks. Let's review. Black hole firewalls propose a terrifying possibility, a wall of searing energy that incinerates anything crossing the event horizon. We examine the conflict between quantum mechanics and general relativity, focusing on three irreconcilable principles. The information paradox arises from Stephen Hawking's discovery that black holes emit radiation that seem to carry no information, creating a conflict between unitarity, the need to preserve information, and the equivalence principle, no drama at the event horizon. And we touched on three alternate theories, which in their own ways challenge locality. Firewalls offer a potential solution by severing entanglement between the black hole's interior and Hawking radiation. No observer can see the black hole's interior. Locality is preserved, but at the great cost of Einstein's equivalence principle. So are black holes information incinerators or cosmic hard drives? Only time will tell. But in the meantime, if you want to learn more about entangled virtual particles, check out my video on quantum foam the smallest stuff in our universe. Thank you for watching.